Alright guys, it's Tuesday night. This is the uh, Blueberry Black IPA, so you know what that means. Let's turn this around. Happy Homebrew Wednesday! Woo! 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 That's, mm. Half hearted. Sorry. Sorry. Alright, I think, uh... Yeah, I've covered a bunch of this stuff. Anyway, just since I had the camera pointed there, I got some bottles I need to fill. Some bombers I need to fill. Been trying to get this done. Um, it's just been too busy. Life's been too busy. Um, anyway, all right, let's go. Actually, I'm gonna get some footage of this, but let's look at the look at the uh, the yeast cake down there. Um, I just it was did have a nice carousing on it. It wasn't completely carousing yet, but I just dumped a some dregs from another bottle in there um, earlier today, so that's why it's kind of knocked everything down, but um, yeah, it's coming along. I got more footage. Anyway. Alright boys, girls, kids of all ages, cheers. Oh, nom, nom, nom. So, since the last time we talked, um, collab beer is kegged it's carved, um, sitting at uh, serving pressure, just kind of finishing up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, bottle that this weekend, hopefully. Sometime Saturday, sometime Monday. I got so much crap going on with soccer and um, landscaping stuff and just school and stuff. So with my kids' school, not my school. I, don't, I graduated, got my uh, got my bachelor's and my associates and uh, sit down done done for a while ever so yeah um so that's going to get bottled this weekend I'm, i need to get these beers sent out i need to get them bottled and get them sent out i need to get some beer mail sent out just haven't had time but <clears throat> excuse me one thing so i'm pretty excited about the uh the bread starter the culture there it's going um so I started that starter Friday evening. Uh, later on in the video, I said Saturday, but it was actually Friday. So, and let's see. So it took about it took about two days. Um, started seeing some crowds on say Monday. Um, tonight's Tuesday. So it seems to be going. Um, I might let that go. I got two more bottles from the six pack. I'm probably going to go ahead and get those dregs in there. Um, let it go probably another week um, and I'll probably go ahead and decant um, make probably make a thousand liter starter probably um, then uh, a 1030 wart and then I'll let that go then I may let that go for I don't know another, another week maybe that may step it up I may make a 2000 liter starter um, there should be there should be enough yeast in there so um, I'll grow that out then um, hopefully by that point I'll be ready to brew a little bit. But it looks like I keep this up and maybe brewing maybe the weekend, Memorial Day weekend, the 28th. I can't brew the 27th. My uh, my twins have a, a birthday party. But since it's Memorial Day weekend, I think I have Monday off of work, I think. I can't remember. Maybe I got Friday off. Maybe, I think maybe I got, I got Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. I'll go back to work Monday. So I'll probably just go ahead and uh, maybe I'll try to get a brew day in and I'll do that bread IPA. Um, haven't really thought about my grist, haven't really thought about the uh, grain bill. I think the grist is basic. It's probably going to be mainly just two row. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to put any, anything else in there. Oh, excuse me. I may, I may throw in some wheat um, just for a little head retention maybe. Some wheat, maybe um, something like that, some carrot foam or whatever see what happens. I'm not really worried about it. Um, I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. I gotta think about it. I may put some oats in there just so I can maybe get a little bit thicker mouthfeel. I don't know. With this, probably gonna mash it low, but with the bread, you know, you could kind of mash it kind of where you want to, I guess. From what I read, I'm not an expert, so I can smack my pee, -pee if I'm wrong. Um, even if I mash it fairly high, and if the finished gravity with a sack yeast would say be 1020. You know, the, the bread's going to continue eating until it's probably down to uh, 
106 or 104 or something like that, something low. I may be wrong, but I'm going to go ahead and mash low anyway. Um, dry it out as much as I can. Um, then um, probably dry out the shit out of it. So, probably, I don't know, I'm looking at probably 50, 60 IBU, something. It's not going to be maybe maybe a 7% beer, maybe. Um, just something just something to drink um, the only thing is aging it do I want to go ahead and drink it fresh or do I want to go ahead and um, let it age a little bit I mean, it's an IPA for Craig's sakes I don't know we'll see what happens I mean I'll probably end up just go ahead and kegging it um, drink it fresh and I'll probably first thing I'll do I'll probably go ahead and pull off I don't know 6 pack 8 pack whatever 12 pack maybe a handful of bombers I don't know And stow them away for a minute and see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Don't really have anything going. Um, I gotta get some stuff cleaned up. I got, uh, you know, just can't find time, not enough hours in the day at times. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully, this is a short one this week and uh, say, hey, cheers. I don't know, it seems like this has gotten a little bit on the bitter side, I don't know. Not that it's a harsh bitter, it's not a harsh bitter at all, but it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. Got one month, one month, month, until uh, the homebrew competition, National Homebrew Convention, right? I can see a bunch of you ugly mugs out there hanging out. Maybe we'll spoon, get some cuddle time in. Nate, we'll see you. Chris, Big C, we'll see you. Um, Chris at um, Brick and Mortar, we'll see you. Tyler, um, Sexor. Oh, you guys, you guys know who you are. Anyway, all right, Mount Burn, Mount Peace. All right, <clears throat> squeeze me. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I just made a starter. Um, cooled it down. I pitched the dregs out of uh, not this bottle, but a beer. Um, <clears throat> this beer, just another bottle. So, so that's about a 1020 wart, probably a little bit less than 1020. Um, that's 600 milliliters with, uh, 36 grams of DME. So it's, uh, a little over 600 milliliters. So it's probably a little under 1020. So there shouldn't be any, any, uh, real issue with stressing. Um, the yeast, but I think I'm going to be okay, even if it was a little bit bigger. But anyway, I went ahead and um, made a 600 instead of a 200 milliliter starter because I'm going to, as I drink these um, throughout the course of, say, the weekend, it's Friday night now, I'll just go ahead and, and dump the last half inch or so in there. So just uh, just more volume to eat on. Um, so hopefully this works and um, hopefully uh, it's a go because uh, I've got a 100% Brett, Brett IPA I'm going to go with. And do it that way. All right, All right Tuesday night. Um, so I got the starter going. It's a Saturday, I think it was Saturday. And uh, yeah, it's got a had a little more crowds on it yesterday, but uh, now it's got a it does have some activity in the airlock. So looks like things are go. One thing I forgot. Um, I dry hopped my collab beer. Right, it's keg hop with the uh, stainless steel tube. I've got uh, two ounces of Citra. Two ounces of uh, mosaic and two ounces of Azaka sitting in there kegging in the keg right meow. So, yeah, get some of that. Get some of that. All right, guys. Got a little cocaine on my nose, maybe. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. It's a hell of a drug. All right, I'm just joking. I wouldn't talk with cocaine. I'm not rich enough, I'd do crack because crack's for poor people. That's what Whitney Houston said.